I'll only call you if you're quiet. Shh. Yes. What's your name? You did you go on? You did you go on? Please report to the main office. You did you? Are you going? Come in. Sit. Sit properly. Where is it? Where's what? That's enough of the stories you did, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Some students saw you entering the schoolyard last night. I was playing in the field. That's enough lies, you did, yeah. I'm telling the truth. I was playing soccer in the field. Fine. You're not going back to class until you return the screen. Is that clear? But, sir, I was... On Is that clear? From now on, you're assisting Nisim. That's it, Nisim. Huh? I'm done. You're done? Yep. My, aren't you swift? <laughs> so, do you like black coffee? Yes, yeah, sometimes. What do you mean, sometimes? It's bad for you. Why would you drink black coffee? Why don't you go make two cups of tea? Sure. Go for it. And put some, uh, some mint that I left on the table. There's some mint in a bag. In a bag on a table! Yeah, sure. So I'm coming back last night after my lesson, and who do I see lurking around the school? I'm telling you, it must be Aditya who stole the screen. Has to be him. Did you actually see him carry the screen? No, but if you add one plus one... It's not the first time either. It must be Aditya. And did you know that our whole class is losing points because of him? But that's just not fair. Did I say it was fair? Who touched my food? It was Yudidia. Did you see him? I'm telling you, Sammy. He took all the food. We really should tell the principal. Enough is enough already. Let's leave him alone. We can't leave him alone. Sammy, we're on the student council. We have a responsibility. I'm telling you. Well? I didn't touch anything. I'm being accused for nothing. You did, yeah. This computer screen is very, very, very expensive. I have proof that you took it. I'm giving you one last chance. I don't have it. You do remember that you're already on probation. Why won't you drink your tea? What's the matter? It's good stuff. You know, I grow this mint myself and a little plant on my back porch. 
Really? Care to hear a story about this plant? Yeah. You remember that night with the big storm? Crazy weather. I tell you, crazy weather. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I hear this sound outside, and I go out, and all the mint plants are all over the place. Except for one little plant that's left standing there in a pot. So I shout to it, hold on, little sprout. And I get to it, and it's all dry and stuff. So I start watering the plant, and a couple of days later, I see it's grown as good as new. Hmm. Isn't that a nice story? Tell me, did you? What's wrong with you? What's on your mind? What's happened? Forget it, Nisim. You did ya, huh? You did ya. What, what, why don't you bring it back? Bring it back. Wait, don't you believe me either? Really, you did ya, it's enough. It's enough, go bring it back. Who told you I've got it? Nobody actually knows who took it, but it's convenient to blame you, did ya, right? Listen, you did ya. You're still a young kid, and that's a good thing. Your whole life is ahead of you. And it's such a shame to see you sitting here so sad. For what? You can go, you can get the screen and take it back and say I'm sorry and that's it. Finished! You can go back into class. What good does it do? Everyone says I took it. So everyone's saying you took it. So what? I know you. You're a good kid, not a thief. That's why it's time to put an end to all of this. I'll make you a deal. What? Tomorrow morning, you bring the screen, and I will go with you to the principal. They'll expel me, Nisim. You bring back the screen, all right? And let me deal with the principal, okay? I'll sort it all out. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Trust me, I can talk with him and sort it all out. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Now drink your tea. I grew this mint myself, you know. Mr. Principal, as representatives of the Student Council, we are obligated to inform you that children are concerned. It's important that you reassure them that all is fine right now. Here, sit down here. There, that's a good boy. Don't worry. Mr. Principal, kids are afraid to go out for recess. They believe their things will be stolen. He ate half of Sammy's sandwich. Don't tell him that. Pardon me, sir. Thank you, sir. It's a you did ya. You did ya. Sammy and Yuda, time to go back to class. Thank you, sir. Thanks. You did ya? Come on in, come on in. And Mr. Principal wants to meet you. Now, this, give the principal the screen. Go ahead, go on, it'll be fine. Go on, go on ahead. <laughs> it's okay. You did ya? It'll be just fine. So, just like we discussed, Mr. Principal. Yes. Okay. Good. Come on, you did ya. Well done. Very brave. Thank you, Nisim. You should be proud of yourself, you did ya. Now listen, you did a very brave thing. Now go back and relax and calm Thank down. You, Thank you. And that's the summary of this lesson. A person should always give first to others, and not just to himself. Give to others as well, not just to yourself. Such an act is a blessing. Mitzvah ma'ke. The act of protecting others by building a proverbial barrier around them and in order...
I'm telling you, I'm getting right on this. It makes no sense. We're going to hand the principal this letter with all our signatures, demanding he be removed. This is truly an outrage. We'll see if he stays at this school. It's outrageous. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Let's go and see Nisim. Nisim? Yeah, Nisim. I think he's behind all of this. Let's go. I have a thing or two to say to him about... One of our counselors. One of your counselors? Yes, one of our counselors. Well, they used to give us all kinds of chores and activities and things to do around the place, and if we ever needed anything, we'd ask them and then we'd get them. A counselor arrived and told us that a great rabbi was on his way to visit the rehabilitation center. We knew right away what we wanted to do. We planned to throw eggs and, and throw tomatoes and uh, vegetables and, you know, squishy, stinking kind of stuff. So we managed to get the key to the storage room. And then we broke in and we stocked up on all kinds of squishy, stinky stuff. Like rotten tomatoes and bad eggs to throw at this, uh, this rabbi who's supposed to come. Suddenly, who shows up? Who comes over to the center? This great rabbi, Rabbi Mordecai Eliyahu himself. And we started making lots of, lots of noise and hollabaloo. And no one tried to quiet us down or even say a word. We were just waiting for the, the gang leader to give us a signal so that we could start throwing stuff at this rabbi. So we were making noise and a lot of trouble and, uh, and ruckus. And then all of a sudden the rabbi saw what was going on. And he called over Adir, uh, the gang leader. And he calls him over and he, and he, and he whispers something in his ear, which uh, and we never heard what it was. But after that, Adir turned around to us and told us all to be quiet. To everybody be quiet, just like that. So then, we turned to look at this rabbi, and his eyes were bright. They were so bright, they were radiant. And then the rabbi, he started to speak. And I remember to this day what he said. He said, boys, you have your entire life ahead of you. This is not the time to give up. You do not want to be here forever. You must return to live a healthy and meaningful life away from all of this and do good things to get out of this place. And we were all silent. Nobody dared to speak or to even move a muscle. And after that, he gave us all candy. Not that he found anywhere, but that he bought with his own money. He gave us all these candies and then he stood there because none of the kids wanted to let him leave. They all wanted to get a blessing from him. Because he was divine. He was a special holy man. So we all stood there and asked for a blessing. And you got his blessing? I don't really remember much of what he said to me, but I do remember that when I looked at the great Rabbi Mordecai Eliyahu with his sparkling eyes and his encouraging words, my life changed. And I made a decision. I said to myself, Nisim, you're getting out of here. Your life is in your own hands. You're getting out of here and you're going back to real life. And that's what I did. Four months later, I was outside of the rehab center. And the first thing that I did is I went to the rabbi. I'm telling you, you did ya. It's because of that rabbi that I managed to straighten out. It, it, it was because of him that I changed my life. He... He was the first person who ever took the time to say something to me to make me want to change my life and be different. You understand? So this is also what you told the principal? That is what I told the principal. I told him that you will now straighten yourself out. What? Are you telling me I'm wrong? Huh. Good. Now you can help me. I gotta unblock all of them toilets upstairs. Ew. Stop complaining. Let's go and do it. Okay, Nisimo. Okay. 
Come on, let's go. Now, this is strictly between yeah. the two of us. Remember that, okay? Okay. You want to hold the toolbox? Yeah. You're a good kid. Yes, 